Falcon Business News, it is all. We start a reports that the sum of 647.3 billion naira was shared to the three tiers of government in the month of January this year at the end of the FAC meeting in Lagos. The meeting chaired by the Permanent Secretary, Federal Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mahmoud Issa Dutse, was part of the activities of the 2020 FAC retreat. The 647.35 billion naira comprised the two tree revenue, value added tax, exchange gain, non oil revenue and excess bank charges recovered. The federal government received 267.38 billion naira. State government also received 176.92 billion naira, while the local government councils got 132.9 billion naira. In addition, the oil producer states received 46.19 billion naira as part of the 13% deriv uh, derivation revenue, while the revenue generating agencies also got 23.9 billion naira as cost of revenue collection. That we understand that government alone cannot provide all the infrastructure in the, in the country and that really we in the private sector have to work hand in hand with government to ensure that the infrastructure this country needs to move ahead is provided. So um, with that in mind, what was agreed was that we create a small um, committee among the CEOs to work with the central bank to identify those rules on which, where we would like to participate, come up with a framework which we will share with government as to how we intend to do that. And then once we have agreement, then we'll be able to forge ahead in the first instance. We are working with NICEL and other banks to increase financial inclusion or specifically intervening in infrastructure. These are uh, steps being taken to ensure that government is supported in its drive to grow this economy, reduce unemployment, and also overall improve the security of the nation. I think it's very critical to not only the banking industry, but to Nigeria as a whole, that this continues. From our opinion or our perspective as practitioners, this has been one of the most successful things that was done in 2019, when you look at how much credit was availed in a six month period. I think consumer credit has grown very well. The corporates who've always had credit have also been availed even more credit. And that for any economy to grow, the SMEs and the retail segment must be availed of credit. And I think the LDR is doing that very well. And I think most banks are probably close to 60%.